Michaelis. Game show. Who is this? T. Davis. Yeah. Teaching the youth of America the history in sports, sounds, skate, and style every week right here on the rapshow.com. And here is our contestant, O. T. Davis. Hi, you doing, everybody? And this is O. T. Davis. Oh, who is this, T. Davis? And I don't have a fucking clue who anybody is. <laughs> So let's get it started. Well, let's get into the rules of the game, T. Davis. Right, you, as a young 19-year-old, up-and-coming producer, and, and just wonderful child, I'm sorry, young man, uh, <laughs> we'd like to teach you all about classic 90s music, pop culture, yeah. movies. So we'd like to know how much you know, T. Davis. And uh, that's where this game show gets fun. We've right. got three rounds, including a bonus round of trivia, of name that movie, and star, as well as who is this T. Davis when we play that song from the 90s popular music. As I said, I'm your host, Adam Rapp. Almighty Dollar is here. Of course, we've got our judge, Boomer4568, and you are also going to be allowed uh, to ask Dexter or phone a friend. Now, Dexter has been sipping on Prodegazine tonight. Yes. So uh, you he have to take that into consideration whenever uh, you want to, to, to use uh, your uh, lifeline. But you get one lifeline. You choose, you choose to use your lifeline. Boomer will give you one minute on the clock. You can pick up the phone. And if you actually do have any friends out there, T. Davis, who pick up the phone to answer the call, you can do anything uh, within a minute to... Tell us, who is this, T. Davis? Are you ready to get started? Contestant T. Davis. How about our live studio audience? Are you guys ready to get started? Yes, we are. Well, let's play, who is this, T. Davis? And your first round is 90s alternative rock. Now, the inspiration behind this game show was brought to you by you know in every goddamn 90s alternative rock lyrics, but you don't know who sings this song. Yeah, when you said that Nirvana was throwing high blind last week, oh. too, I said, we have got to turn this into a game show. This could be the biggest game we've so a few <laughs> oh, oh, we've got fruit coming from the audience already. Oh, we've got people throwing their hats in already. T. Davis, are you ready to play? Who is this? You suck. Are you ready to play? You, you, you must confirm. Let's do it. Uh, Let's get it. Get it. Show. Can you tell everybody where you were born and raised? Uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Houston. Okay. Houston. And when year were you born? 96. 96. I believe this song came out in 1996. So let's get right into our first round. 90s alternative rock. T, you have one minute. Boomer, please set the clock. Tell me when to go. Oh yeah, no, please, no, no, please, no, 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 no. please take his phone, dollar Put your phone, please, face on down, down on the table, on face down. down on the table. He's Shazam, he's there you Shazamming go. already. There you go. Uh, judge, please take his phone. Yeah, yeah. No, you will be handing your phone, you will be handing your phone, if you, judge, if you need judge, your lifeline, T. Davis, you will be handing your phone and you will be on the clock for one minute. Okay. All right, here we go, first round, 90's alternative rock. Right. T. Davis. Who is this? In my eyes, oh, in uh, I'm sorry, there's no cursing on who is this T Davis. Oh, Only the host can curse. Alright, I'm going to pause it right now. Before we go any farther, would you like to use your lifeline in the first round? No, okay, I'll continue the song. Boomer, let's give him 30 more seconds. Alright. 
nine, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Final answer, O.T. Davis. So close. Yes. But I'm sorry, you're going to have to go back in time. You're not an audio slave when Rage Against the Machine was still a band, yeah. and this band yeah. that we like to call Rumor, which please tell us who that band is. Soundgarden. Soundgarden. One of the uh, cutting edge yeah. videos of its time on MTV, and it actually uh, really uh, kept the alternative metal, northwest, grunge rock scene alive for the MTV generation. Uh, you see the video now? Yeah. Yes. That is Black Hole Sun T. Davis. Now, fun fact. Uh, Dollar, do you have a microphone over there? Do you have a microphone? I got one. Would you like to let T. Davis know why Audio Slave was a good guess? Because they do share the same lead singer. That is correct! Uh, Chris Cornell, who on a side note I will be seeing later this year. In there concert. you go. There you go. All right. T. Davis, are you ready for round two? You're the best guy. Okay. All right. All right, T. Davis. Wait, uh, uh, how, many, how many choices do I have? Like, that's insane. Can I just, like, start you have one minute. minute. When well, you're on the clock, you're on the clock. And I will pause it. Every week, I will pause it. And he just song. yell out answers well, until he gets it right. And, and yeah. right, within the minute. Uh, if you throw it out there, it's right. right. Or if I pause the song. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry that our producers did not instruct you of the rules before they put you on the air. Just don't sit there and don't say that. That's right. I mean, you might as well start throwing stuff out there. Come on, okay. so. Come on. it's a game show, T. <laughs> say Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus would be, it, would be acceptable. Better guess would be yes. Yes. yes, exactly. All so right, so round two now Kevin. is the Daily Double. And that's double Ooh. because two is always better than one. We know that here Watch on that. the Jazz Show. Because this is better than one. Because this is. is. Yeah, everybody's got two or something here. Uh, all right. Two days. This is the visual name that movie and actor. And for a bonus point, you can give his character name in the movie as well. Ooh. Are you ready? Yes. I have a Who is this? Mind. And what movie is this? Oh, two days. This is a visual clue. Oh. Oh, right here. Oh. Oh, uh, Michael. Michael. Mother. Uh, Fox? No. Yeah. Fox. I bet we've been uh, what movie? Together. You need to give the complete answer before okay. I Yeah, yeah, I'm it. sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll be together probably about 30 seconds. Future. What is it? Back to the future. Like okay, what was the name? Michael Fox. Is that acceptable, judges? Yeah. Movie of my association. Michael J. Fox would be the would be the correct. Oh uh, yeah. Point. Would you like yes. to pick up for your zero points in round one, today? What is his character name? And I'll give you a hint. Marty McFly. Wow. Nice yeah. job, yeah. Tia. All right, you stole back your point. Uh, so you now have two points going into the final round. Oh, T. Davis. Oh, T. Davis, then. Not too bad. Not too bad. That was kind of an easy one. I'm, I'm going yeah, easy yeah. on you. You but, just got this quiet back. Look at... See? Always look for details. Look at the top. You fly. Nice piece of I didn't even know. Nice one. Well, we didn't expect you to know the shit there. <laughs> you can't even see. Look at he, still, he still can't see it. <laughs> That's Dexter Wynn. He'll be playing point guard for the Dallas Mavericks next year. <laughs> Mark Cuban will sign up. All right, so today I'm going to turn off your video screen here, and I'm going to go to my a trivia. Now, this is for the win. Three points in this game is a win. You always have a bonus question, uh, and I'd love to see you start with one and oh on who is this T. Davis. Um, no pressure whatsoever. All right, Dexter. Are you going to win? I will give you two days half the point if you can name this television theme song. All right, Dexter, help the brother out. Davis, help the brother out. You'll give him half a point. And half a point for victory if you can name this theme song. Dexter, yes. Labrador. Is your name Dexter? You 
lose half a point for answering that. Oh. Question next oh. Okay, you are at one and a half points for speaking out of turn. Terrific. Thank you a lot. Wah, wah, wah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, I think yeah. it's Dexter Lane. Dexter Lane. For our own Dexter Lane here. All right. So, T. Davis. How are you? Now, it is your final question. My apologies, Dexter. No, no. Final question. Apologize to yourself. You lost the point, bro. Stay. Where certain guys like to put speedos on and little half helmets and swim around and throw the ball in the water. Uh, some people like to call that water polo. Now, T. Davis, on your application for the game show, said that you at one time played water polo. Okay. Can you swim? Can you tell me? Yeah, yeah. Or did you have he applied for the show. Yes. Or did you just say you were born? Yeah. You were born. You lied. You That's right. All right. For the final question on the inaugural episode of Who Is This T. Davis? Can you name the all-time U.S. U.S. national team water polo the all-time leading scorer? We have one minute on the clock. The all-time leading scorer. Yes. Um, he was the uh, 1998, and his uh, collegiate record is also an all-time record. He went to Stanford. Who is this? Alex. Uh, uh, Cooper. C Curly. Uh, Charlie, uh, Charleston, Taylor, <laughs> no name actual U.S. water polo players. You know none. No. <laughs> no, no. Hey, T. Davis, who did you have up on your wall? Like posters up on your wall growing up. We. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what we yeah. was six yeah. months ago, guys. <laughs> he thought we was what you had to pluck on Saturday mornings before you got to watch the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he goes alpha alpha. All right, T, I think you're probably coming up with about 10 seconds left. Yeah, Would you like to take a guess? Come if on. I tell you his last name, you like the phone a friend. And, uh, and I'll declare victory if you happen to guess on your next guess. And you happen to use a lifeline, by the way. You could use me, man. Okay. Uh, his last name was Acevedo. A Z E V E D O. Take a What? First name would flow perfectly with Acevedo. You got five seconds. Four, three, two. Juan Acevedo. I'm sorry, Juan did not know how to swim. I so his brother it. Tony Acevedo oh. is the all time US water polo scorer. That was hey, brutal. But you do not go away empty handed, T Davis. You have won. You have, you have won. Trash dude, I will not make him take uh, all the trash. Okay, we'll get back to So, T, you're a winner after all. You're Congratulations. Thank you for playing. Uh, let's go out with the perfect game. So, for the one and only OT Games, where can they follow you? Where can they follow you, OT Games? O T E E and Four Games. One and only. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week for a brand new episode of The Rapture After Dark, as well as Who Is This? O.T. Davis. And coming soon, we're actually going to bring contestants to challenge uh, T. Davis. Uh, See how great the 19, 20 year old minds are these days. I think the kid rap is going to be in that chair real soon, too. Uh, he's going to kill me. Uh, we know. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Until That's then, T. Davis, Davis what we would like to say? As a wrap, peace. The last thing? The last question? You didn't know U.S. had a water polo? Yeah, it was Tyrone. 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 Tyrone.